All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna blanch some asparagus, which basically just means bring some water to a boil, and then throw the asparagus in there for, I don't know, maybe no more than three minutes, and then we're gonna throw them in an ice bath to stop the cooking so they stay green. All right, see you later. Okay, guys, so literally when I said ice bath, I meant an ice bath. Three minutes in the boiling water, and then into an ice bath so that they stop cooking, okay? All right, that way they stay nice and green instead of getting that funky steamed vegetable gross brown look all right bye all right guys so here's a tri-tip roast which may not look like it would in the grocery store because it usually comes flat out um but i have tied it with some butcher's twine get yourself a huge roll of butcher's twine because it comes in handy because what you want is to make sure you wrap it tightly enough so that it cooks uniformly especially in a rotisserie all right Okay, let's see how this goes. So this is the Emerald 360 air fryer, which also has a rotisserie option. So we got our roast in there. So we're gonna go for, let's see, we're gonna try to find rotisserie on here. Let me see, rotisserie 375, we'll go 30 minutes. That's it. So you hit start and it'll preheat and there we go we're off i'll let you know how it goes okay guys remember what i told you about the color right so what so instead of getting those green vegetables looking that funky brown over boiled see there nice bright green asparagus that's because we did the ice bath you must do an ice bath when blanching your vegetables all right okay so one more quick tip and the reason that I tied it up is so that it's the last time I made one it was kind of flopping around so there was a piece of it that wasn't exactly even. I mean it's still uniform but you want to make it as uniform as possible so that it cooks evenly. Alright, bye. Okay guys, so here's my advice for the salad dressing. I'm not going to lie, I stole this from Ina. Uh, she's my queen. I know Martha's. Generally, everybody's clean, but you know what? I'm just partial to Ina Garten. Anyway, so in this measuring cup, which makes life a lot easier, a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice, obviously, there you go. I squeeze those myself. Gotta be fresh. Uh, anyway, uh, so a quarter cup to half a cup of olive oil, um, a good tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That's what I use, whatever you have. Um, a dash of salt, uh, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon, and uh, about 10 to 15 grinds of a pepper grinder. Anyway, that's your salad dressing. And then get yourself one of these. If you were ever get to go back to the fair, this thing is like the most brilliant thing I ever purchased at the fair. Watch this. None of that ridiculous wrist action. Uh, hand whiskey you just push down and look at that just look at the emulsification anyway okay almost there okay guys so i'm shooting for a rare to medium rare we're about 15 minutes in at 375 on the rotisserie so i'm gonna check the temperature when it's down got 10 minutes left hoping to stop it around 140, maybe 145, and then let it rest. All right? All right. Okay guys, we're 20 minutes in, so one other piece of advice I have for you, get yourselves a digital thermometer. It's the greatest thing ever. So accurate, so let's try, let's see. We're 20 minutes in, let's see what we got. We're at 115 on this end. Let's see here. Okay, so I think we're gonna go probably at least another five minutes on this. We did 375, so maybe the full 30 minutes is gonna do. We'll see. Okay guys, so I paused it. Um, we only have two minutes left, and in the middle is at 132. So if we set it to rest, we should come to about 140 because I know in the ends, let me see, let me check out the ends here. This is why I say digital thermometer is everything. 
Oh yeah, see, that's a bit higher. So I think we're good. We're taking this out, let it rest now. Okay guys, so normally I mix a salad in a bowl, but in this case, because I really hate, I don't know about you guys, but I hate it when all of you know the tomatoes or asparagus, whatever, falls to the bottom of the bowl. So I'm plating it on a platter. This way everybody gets the asparagus. And as you can see, um, it's just a mixed baby green salad and then sprinkle some Parmesan cheese over it. Okay guys, so now to top it off, just to add some brightness to it, got some lemon rind. Now, if you have a rasp, which is basically like a grater, which is perfect for grating lemons and whatnot, throw that on there. Look at that, beautiful, right? Oh my God, I'm so excited right now. Y'all don't even know. Okay, and then I'm gonna dress it, but I'm not gonna go crazy, crazy. I'm just gonna lightly use that. Everything gets a little coating. You can add more later, everybody can serve themselves. But that's it, you guys. I think I might top it off with a little bit of pepper, uh, a dash of salt, because you know, believe it or not, you can add salt to a salad. It's good. All right. Okay guys, here's a moment of truth. Now, I let it rest for about 10 minutes. Remember we ended at about 140 because I like my re rare. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. Anyway, so let's see. The moment of truth. Here we go. Let's see. Oh. M.G. Y'all. Unbelievable. Look at that. Holy. Remember I told you I stuffed it with garlic? So there's a garlic clove right there. Tons of flavor. Look at that. Just look at that. Oh my god, you guys. I am so excited. I hope you watch this. I hope you learn. I hope I inspired you. This is unbelievable. Oh, and by the way, uh, the Emerald 360 air fryer is probably the best investment that, um, well, my stepmom has ever made. Uh, she had a bed, bath and beyond, uh, at a fairly good discount. And I'm telling you, it does everything it promises. It's amazing. There we go, guys. Look at that. I hope you like rare to medium rare meat because that is beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Wait, I might post one more picture when I'm all done. We'll see. All right, bye. All right, guys. So this is the final product because, you know, I'm all about plating and presentation. Um, I wonder who I learned that from. Haha. <laughs> anyway, baby green salad, asparagus, parmesan, lemon Dijon dressing inspired by Ina, of course. Now, how bad could that be? And there is our tri-tip ready to eat all right guys thanks for watching again hope i've inspired you and uh bon appetit bye thanks for watching